Hello everyone, happy Monday. It is the last Monday of the longest month ever, it feels like, um, but here we are at today's daily dose of stamping therapy. I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful sunshine and beautiful weather, at least here in the Midwest. Uh, we have beautiful sunshine and beautiful weather. Actually, I don't even know if I could say the Midwest um, because it varies so much. Um, so either way, here in southern-ish Illinois, um, it is sunny and fabulous out. So I'm super loving it. That sunshine sure gives me some happiness and hope and energy, it seems like. So um, a couple things before we get started. I do still have two of these kits left over. Uh, these were the class that I did not have last week, but that we made on um, on camera with Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. So um, this is the set of five cards, and um, I have two packs left of um, of these five cards to mail out if you would like them. So uh, just let me know in the comments or send me a message and um, and I will send these cards to you. They're already made so you can purchase them to um, to send out and use but you could also purchase them and use them as samples um, and inspiration for your um, card making as well. So they use uh, the Ladybug stamp set, which retires or ends or expires or whatever you want to call it um, tomorrow because that is a Celebration Hostess stamp set. Um, if you want, you can also earn it by placing an order of 350 so it's not just a Hostess only item. Um, and then this one uses the Witty Sisms. This one does use the um, Honey Bee Designer Series Paper. It's already sold out. So again, don't delay because if there is a celebration item that you want, you definitely want to place your order like now um, because I'm sure more things will start selling out as we get closer and closer to the end. And then these two use that fabulous The Gangs All Mirror uh, celebration stamp set as well. So super, super cute. Um, if you want to see me make any of these, uh, you can always check out last week's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy because I made each of them on camera. Um, and you can also check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, for uh, like more um, pictures and, um, and in-depth uh, tutorials as well. So you can check that out there. Don't forget that celebration is ending tomorrow. Um, so all orders of $50 earn a celebration item. And um, and that's increments of 50, so that's an awesome thing. So now is a great time to stock up on, um, on cardstock, adhesives, envelopes, Whisper White, or get a few of those things off of your wish list. Um, you can also get uh, all-inclusive kits and um, give those to neighbors or friends or family members because uh, the only thing that you need with the all-inclusive kits is a pair of scissors. Otherwise, it comes with everything that you need, adhesive, instructions, um, and then all of all the supplies, stamps, and everything. So that is uh, super awesome because, like I said, anyone can do uh, an all-inclusive kit. They're great. You can do them with kids. Uh, you can do them, you know, together as a family. You could do them um, to mail out happy mail, but you could also gift them to to someone um, who's, you know, maybe home and they're alone and uh, and you just want to brighten their day. So definitely check out Stampin' Up's all-inclusive kits for something like that. And of course, when you jump on, be sure to um, say hello so that I can give you a little shout out so I know who all is on with me. Uh, today, since we're done with that um, class that we did last week, today we're back to cleaning up some leftovers from classes that I've had in the past. This class, I feel like it's from like almost a year ago because this is whenever the uh, new catalog came out last year with this amazing mosaic suite. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that this is like leftover from last July, August, something like that. 
Hi, Angie. Welcome from East Texas. Um, what is the temperature down there? Because I have seen a couple of my Texas friends, and they're like swimming in pools and stuff, and I'm super jealous over here. Uh, I cannot wait. Um, my favorite seasons are definitely spring and summer, and so I'm ready to feel, feel the sun, feel the heat on my skin. I can't wait. And I know I'm probably crazy, but I just, I love it. 64 and raining. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is kind of a bummer, but 64 is still pretty nice. Um, in Texas, it's probably very cool, and you guys are enjoying that. But rainy days are always kind of a bummer, but I always try to um, see the silver lining. And if we didn't have rainy days, then we wouldn't be as thankful for sunny days. Um, so sunny days are coming, hopefully, more and more. Hi, Casey. Welcome. So for this card, I actually don't have the sample. Jonesboro, Tennessee. Hi, Catherine, 70. Ooh, like it is, um, it's chilly here. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Um, I don't really know what the temperature is. Michigan, I'm sure it's probably not very warm up there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're powering through. Where's my adhesive? It's probably like right in front of me and I can't see it. Yes, it is. It's right here. 41 and cloudy. Yeah, that's, that's kind of chilly. And of course I ran out of adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna refill with this one that's also gonna run out soon. Hi, Dawn. So what is your guys' favorite season? Do you like um, spring or do you prefer fall, winter? If you say winter, you all are crazy, but I'm just not a fan of winter, but that's okay. I know there's some of you guys who love winter. Um, I have a stamping friend um, down here who every time it warms up, I'm like, hey guys, are you excited? And she's like, no, I love winter. So um, it's always fun to talk to her in the winter time because she kind of brings some some light to that. Your favorite is fall. See, and I think fall gets a bad rap from me because fall means that uh, winter is coming. And so I just kind of am angry towards fall because of that. But fall is nice. Fall is very similar to spring where it's that transition um, with those like cooler temps, but also those wonderful um, cool breezes and stuff like that so um, again with the project that I'm currently working on I, I don't have the sample for it because I've already used the card or mailed it or who knows where it is um, so I'm kind of going off of how I remember it to be but I'm also mixing it up because I'm using a different stamp set for the greeting I'm thinking um, this peaceful moments is super fabulous um, and I really like the greeting, thinking of you with all my heart. And I feel like that is so needed right now. Um, so that's that's probably the greeting I'm going to try to use if it fits into this circle, I guess. You like all seasons. You know, each season does have its... Um, it's pros and cons to it. So, you know, you just gotta, you gotta find the happiness in the moment for sure. And the colors of fall, the colors of fall are pretty. Um, but I am, I'm not a brown fan here as I'm, uh, ripping soft suede. Uh, I'm like, if I'm gonna pick between like brown or black, it's always gonna be black. I just, I prefer, you know, like black, um, purses or, um, black, like black pants over any sort of khaki or something like that. Um, so I'm more of a black girl than a brown girl. Uh, and I just, I like bright colors too. So like I love black and white with a pop of color. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. So again, while the colors of fall are gorgeous, um, and I do like those shades of oranges and yellows and things like that, uh, there's also that deadness to it. So again, I love spring because I love the flowers and the green grass and stuff like that. And that sense of 
new life and everything. You know, like you see the new baby animals coming out and, and it's just, it's all so exciting. I'm going to try to rip both of these at the same time because I'm getting tired of ripping cardstock. Ugh, it's a little bit more difficult. Mm, I don't think it's going to work. So when it comes to ripping, I really like the added texture that it gives. And you can use either this side or this side, whichever you prefer. And I don't, um, I don't recommend like ripping in one full swoop, but I also don't recommend like munching at it like a little hamster um, is munching on paper. I don't know if hamsters munch on paper, but for some reason that was the first thing that came to mind. So like, I don't recommend like going like this and like munching little pieces off, um, but just sort of like rip, 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 and like working your way down as you go. Okay, is, nope, I still have one more. And this is why I probably don't do these like last snippets of cards is because I get tired sometimes of working on the same card um, over and over and over again. I prefer to do like two or three, which most of these packets have been like two or three cards. This one's like seven, I think. Oh, it still didn't work, see? And then it left that. So this one is really rough, as you can tell. I just got tired of doing it. So I have this gorgeous mosaic specialty designer series paper. It's specialty because um, it's got like shine on it. So you can see some of those little mosaic tiles have um, have that fabulous little like clear embossed look. So you can use whichever side you want. And I think I'll probably mix it up and use some of both sides. So this is just going to go down the center of that ripped soft suede. And then again, you can either go with the smooth side or you can go with the more rough side. And again, I'll probably go a little half and half or just whatever I pick up and, and do it as. And some of these are a smidge too long. So I'm just going to place it down and then using the edge of the um, soft suede as my guide, just trim off that little extra piece. I mean, it's hardly any to matter, but some of it will drive me nuts. And so I'll be like, let's take that off. Okay, so one of the other big questions that we asked a lot last week was what is everybody making for dinner tonight or getting? There's a lot of places that are still open for drive through and things like that. So um, you can go pick up some yummies. Surprise, surprise, we're having chicken. Because that's pretty much all we had in the freezer before this happened. And then... That's all that's at the store because it's very limited. Um, so we are having chicken and fries. Um, my husband, I think, is probably going to be putting his on a bun and making his almost like a Chick-fil-A chicken with some pickles on there and stuff. Um, pickles are a no-go for me. I'm just not a vinegar fan. Um... Meatloaf. Meatloaf works. Uh, ooh, that's a different pattern, so I'm going to use that one too. And um, since we're going to have the fries, I think I'm probably going to do like loaded fries and do like cut up chicken on, on some fries with some cheese sprinkled on top. And there is definitely not enough of these for how many cards I have, I don't think. Either that or I ripped some extra soft suede and didn't need to. 
Meatloaf. Why is meatloaf like the the trending dinner? That's so weird. I feel like meatloaf, I, I wouldn't have thought to be like the popular thing, but that is hilarious that two of you guys are now having meatloaf. If anybody's looking for ideas, then meatloaf is your your idea for tonight. Someone last week was having meatloaf too. Maybe it was one of you guys. I don't remember who it was. Um, and so we asked, put ketchup on your meatloaf or not. I feel like that's something that some people are like totally against and some people are totally for. It's easy to make makes great sandwiches. I could see that. And it's also like one of those good like, um, like leftover meals where you can like remake it in like different ways, like into a sandwich or with mashed potatoes or, you know, that sort of thing. So I am a big fan of casseroles because one, I, I don't know, I kind of like that sort of thing altogether. Yep, <laughs> your kids love it and it, you agree with Angie, that's awesome. Um, so I love casseroles and I think I kind of grew up on a lot of various casseroles, but I know some people don't like, you know, mixing food and stuff. Um, oh wait, so I'm only short one, it looks like. Again, if you're just now joining, be sure to give a shout out so that I know that you're on and let me know what you're having for supper tonight and where you're from and what your weather is like. So this last one, I'm going to see if I have any more um, of the designer series paper. Otherwise, these pieces are just going to go um, in the reuse pile. Okay, so now I'm down to what, six? Yes. And the extra is going to go over here. Casseroles are good too. Okay, so share with me your favorite casseroles. Um, I absolutely love chicken and noodles, like a homemade chicken and noodles. But let's be honest, it doesn't happen very often. Um, but like I remember we had like a tuna noodle, tuna noodle casserole uh, that had like breadcrumbs on top. And it was like amazing. It's kind of like... Um, cream of mushroom soup and um, and noodles and tuna. I think that was it almost. And then cheese on top with the little crumbs. Loved that as a kid. Thinking of you with all of my heart. And I'm going to do this in mint macaron. Um, I totally thought about doing it in like the soft suede or the terracotta tile. But like a lot of these, I don't feel like have the terracotta tile um, color. Except like this one that has almost too much terracotta tile to do. So um, since I did mint macaron for the card base, then I thought I would pull it back in uh, with the greeting. And again, I'm using the greeting, thinking of you with all of my heart, which is from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. I'm feeling like the greeting doesn't fill the circle enough. Like there's like empty spots. So I can't decide whether I want to use the mosaic stamp set to fill in with a couple little details or jewels and gems. What do you guys think? Jewels and gems or a mosaic image? And then I'm gonna take the um, linen thread, wrap it around my fingers, and then I'm going to do like a figure eight, and that's okay that he's jumping away from me, and he is too. And I'm just going to place it on the back 
So there's my figure eight placed on the back. And I'm going to add dimensionals. And all I can find are my black dimensionals. So I'm going to set this one here right in the center of that figure eight. And those are minis, more minis. Apparently I need to go find some Stampin' Dimensionals. I mean, I could totally use the black Stampin' Dimensionals, but um, since this is more of a lighter colored piece, then I'll go ahead and go back with my white ones. Did you guys know that Stampin' Up! has black Stampin' Dimensionals? So then they don't show as much when working with dark cardstock. Ham, broccoli, cheddar cheese, penne noodles, and Miracle Whip. Whoa, the Miracle Whip, you totally threw me off with that. Calls for croutons on the top, but I don't always do that. Ooh, the fact that you can make it the night before is awesome. That sounds yummy. And I, we might have some of that stuff. Um, since we'll be celebrating Easter at home probably, then we might be getting a ham. And then I've never added the broccoli, but that sounds like a, well, actually, no. We usually do ham and potato casserole, but this is noodles. And where does the Miracle Whip come in? Like, do you layer it? Do you mix it? The Miracle Whip totally has me, like, thrown off. And yes, I am a dimensional overuser, so I have, like, a whole, like, pinwheel of dimensionals. So there's that one. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one on, and then we will decide on what jewels to use. So there you go. So those little like circles, loops, whatever you wanna call them of uh, the linen thread, those just give like a little extra texture and pop to your card, making your greeting kind of stand out a little bit more. The best way to do it is to just get that, that loop, do the figure eight, place it down on the back, smash it with a Stampin' Dimensional, and then use the Stampin' Dimensionals to like spread those loops out and place, like force them to be wherever you want them to be. So like if I wanted it to look like that, I'm just gonna add a dimensional out here, holding that one, a dimensional in the middle, and why not, another dimensional on the other side, and boom, they're all staying where they need to be. Mmm, that sounds yummy. I'm always up for anything that's got cheese in it, too, so I'll never say no to something with cheese. When we took a trip around Wisconsin a couple summers ago, um, I was, like, in cheese heaven with cheese curds and everything else. Like, we got those a lot as an appetizer when we went out uh, for dinner in the evenings. So each of these cards is going to look just a hair different because um, I use the different kinds of, or the different patterns of the designer series paper. Like this one, the greeting like really pops because of all of that terracotta tile. But then look how this one, it looks more subtle. 
So it's so cool to see how um, different cards, or you know, how much a card looks so different just with, you know, the designer paper changed or, you know, the ribbon changed or something like that. Don't forget I still have two kits left of the class that was missed last week. Um, but I did all of the cards on a daily dose of stamping therapy uh, last week here on Facebook Live. We did all five of those cards. Um, and I have two of those card packs um, still for sale. So if you're interested in those to use as card samples... Um, or to use the dimensional fell off and then fell back down on the opposite side and now it's stuck. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. It's, it's only partially sticky. Um, but I still have two of those kits left. So if you're interested in, um, in either of those kits, uh, then let me know. And so here's that third pattern. I really like this one with that yellow. Super, super cute. Um, but yeah, I have two of those kits left, so you can either message me here or send me a personal message or, you know, reach out to me some way um, if you're interested in um, any of those kits. Like I said, you can use them as samples and inspiration for your stamping, uh, or you can just get them and send them out as happy mail, which I super need to do. I did all of my April birthdays over the weekend. Um, so I have all my April birthday cards ready to go, but I need to just send out um, just some random happy mail to some people who I know, um, you know, of course, live alone. So I'm sure they're feeling super lonely at this time. Um, and just people that I want to say, you know, I'm thinking of you um, and that sort of thing. I guess technically all my Easter cards need to be prepared um, so that I can get ready to send those out. I just, I have like two or three Easter cards um, that I made and um, or that, you know, that I have around. So I want to use those up. So I'll pull those out of my stash and, um, and just pick somebody to send them to just to use them up because um, small holidays like that I usually don't carry over to the next year because next year I'll have some new card to make. So... Super, super cute. Two more to go. And then we're going to do um, some cards using the Bird Ballad Suite. Um, as far as I know, it's okay to keep mailing. Um, I have heard of some people saying, you know, to watch your mail because if someone licks it and they had... Uh, the virus, then it can get on you. I'm not sure if that's 100% true, so I'm not going to deny or or comment that it is. Um, I will say it's been like a couple days that it's gone through the mail, so I wouldn't, I would almost think it would have fallen off or something. Uh, but I do have a super cool trick to share with you guys about um, sealing your envelopes that has come in handy so much. So if you don't like sealing your envelopes um, by licking them, then you need an aqua painter. So an aqua painter just has water in it. It's great for water coloring. It's got this nice little um, brush on it. And since it's got water in it, just brush it right over that and seal your envelope. It's super handy. It's a lot less messy than using like a paper towel and dipping it into water. Um, I definitely use that all the time uh, when I'm doing like Christmas cards or bulk mailings. Um, when I'm doing just like a card here and there, 
I'll be honest, a lot of times I just lick it. Um, but whenever I'm doing bulk ones, then uh, I definitely get out my aqua painter to use. One of the things uh, that I am concerned is I'm going to run out of stamps and I don't know that I want to go to the post office. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if the post office is open. Um, but yeah, I'm still sending out mail uh, as long as I have postage to send it out. Oh yeah, you could always use washi tape. That's another great idea um, of sealing your envelopes with some washi tape. Washi tape comes in handy for a lot of things besides decorating with it. So it's super useful, um, you know, of course, for decorating and using on cards and things like that. And um, you can also use it to hold down your framelits after you've stamped them and now you're going to go die cut them uh, and you want it to stay in its spot so that it doesn't jump around on you. Order stamps on USPS and they come to you, they come directly to you? That's awesome. Maybe I'll have to do that then. I do have another package that I need to send. My mom used to work at the post office. Um, she actually retired, perfect timing, um, at the end of February. Uh, and I've done click and ship before, but I usually still take the package in for the ship part. And so I wonder if I do click and ship if I can um, just leave it in my mailbox. Because I know there's that whole like one ounce or something like that rule that you have to go over. I don't know, do you guys think that these actually need jewels? Or do you think they look good as is? And then there's also this sample. They kind of have that like rustic simple look. So I'm almost thinking that I might just leave them rustic simply. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments whether um, they need jewels or no jewels. Okay, so the next set we're doing, I also don't have a stamps or I mean a sample for. And it looks like there's three. Nope, four. And I've already pre-scored these cards because they kind of have like a fun little peekaboo look where you can see the inside of the card. And if you're just jumping on, give me a shout out so that I know um, that you're watching and where you're from and how your weather is there today. And um, and we're just making cards with um, like all my like leftover pieces from classes. So we have the fabulous Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. And again, I'll probably use a little bit of both sides just to mix it up. And it's layered onto terracotta tile. And then that's going to go on that top little flap. This one's got a very small border. Normally I do quarter inch borders um, because I don't like to mess with the crazy measurements, but every once in a while, I'll do an eighth inch border. I really think I like the feathers better because I like the white rather than so much of the terracotta tile. So there's that one and that one. And then this yellow piece actually goes to the inside of the card. I don't know why I moved on. I still have one more or two more to go, but 
that's kind of how I am sometimes whenever I'm doing multiples. I'll just do like, I'll do a little bit of one, do a little bit of the, a neck, the next one. I also am like a crazy like counter. So like, I'm like counting like, oh, I have to do 10. So I'll do like five and then I'll go back through and I'll do another five and I'll do stacks of evens or odds or crazy stuff like that. So I'm doing two of one and two of the other. But it looks like I don't have enough. No. Looks like I don't have enough of the labels that I put the greeting on with. And I'm missing a yellow piece. Whoa, I almost put those on upside down. Although, I don't know, which way would you put this on? With the feather tips up top or on bottom? The other one I did, I'm just gonna do, oh no, I guess, I guess I'm gonna do it like this. I mean, typically we think of a feather where like you kind of hold the pointy end and the feather goes up, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it going the other way. And this one uses the fabulous stitched, yeah, you can see the, that stitching along the top. Um, the stitched labels and so I can use like a long skinny greeting for this one and I need another yellow piece and I did it where that piece just hung off so I only added adhesive to the top portion of the greeting and then it opened up like that and then of course you can stamp down here too so I think the original used the Bird Ballad stamp set. That is not the name of the stamp set. Or it's just not in the right spot. Free as a bird. That's the stamp set. So the original, I stamped the birdies on the label and then I stamped the little greeting down in the corner uh, and then I colored in the birdies. I'll be honest, I kind of just want to make this quick and simple so I think I'm just going to stamp the greeting on the label and I think I'm going to go with I often think about how amazing you are and then on the inside it'll say today you get it in writing. So how fabulous is that? I think it's, yep, that one and this one. And I think I'm going to do this one in terracotta tile. But I only have one label. So I'm going to have to die cut some more of those. Super, super cute. Okay, where's the, my top is closest to me. A lot of times whenever I do something where it's like hanging off like that, I like to use a stronger adhesive like tear and tape. Um, so, you know, that's all personal preference though. I think snail adhesive holds very well and I don't have a problem with it, but if you're ever concerned that like someone's gonna like rip it off. So, and then, and this one I probably will add a few jewels um, around it just to kind of give it a little texture since like the other card had 
um, the twine. So those are our two sets of cards. Like I said, I just have to die cut a few more of those and do another so saffron piece for the inside of that one. And this set of cards will be complete as well. So that's everything for today's daily dose of stamping therapy. Um, again, if you um, are just jumping on, don't forget I still have two packets um, of this set of five cards um, for sale. So you can purchase these cards and you'll get uh, the envelopes as well as all of the cards sent to you. You can use them as samples for your own crafting or you can use them to send out for happy mail. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I hope you have an amazing dinner. Uh, we can re uh, rehash that tomorrow as I'll be getting on again tomorrow for a daily dose of stamping therapy during this crazy time. So love hugs and prayers to all of you guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.